Today, we are going to be talking about Station 19, why Ryan Tanner left the show. Station 19, the Grey's Anatomy spinoff, is the latest offering from Shonda Rhimes that has us hooked. Alberto Frezza's character, Ryan Tanner, makes up one-third of a classic Shondaland love triangle on the show. Alberto Frezza, as Ryan Tanner, is a police officer at Seattle PD in the show Station 19. He and Andy were longtime friends and had a romantic relationship in high school. That along with Jack Gibson is vying for Andy's affection. He was shot in the second episode of season three and died in the third episode. Ryan Tanner has been on Station 19 since the series premiere. The trio of Ryan Tanner, Andy Herrera, and Jack Gibson provided a lot of drama and chemistry throughout the first season. When Andy decided that she wanted to go in a different direction, it left Ryan out in the cold. Still, Ryan remained in a strong relationship with Andy's father, Pruitt Herrera. Ryan came by to visit Andy as she was hanging out at home to reveal his feelings for her. They ended up saving a neighbor who had cut herself badly. While still watching the neighbor's kids after sending their mother off to the hospital, Ryan and Andy were sitting on the floor in a living room. Suddenly, one of the kids came in holding a gun. The kid, who couldn't have been older than five years old, pointed the gun at Andy, but Ryan jumped in the way of the bullet as he fired. He was a big part of the show and certainly was close to both Andy and her father Pruitt. Well, there is one thing that you should know right now. This is not something that Frezza was fighting for. It was not his choice to leave the show. Rather, the actor explained that this was a creative decision that was happening behind the scenes. According to him, it was a couple of months after season two ended and he got a call from Krista Vernoff, the showrunner. Frezza says, she told me her vision for season three and told me why this was what the show needed, mainly that it's what Andy needed. She told me since the beginning that this was the way Ryan was going to go out, that he was going to be shot. She wanted to create awareness on the topic and help start a conversation. We really need people to take this gun situation seriously, especially when it concerns families with kids. Ryan's death does shake up Andy's story, even if it raises at the same time all sorts of other questions as to if there is too much tragedy around Jaina Lee Ortiz's character's life. Frezza had no issue with the way his character did die. He says, We all know how Ryan feels about Andy. There is no doubt that he would have done anything for her, that he would have died for her. I think this says a lot about his character and how much love he has for her. Viewers were stunned when Ryan's death was revealed in the first few minutes of Thursday's Station 19. Ryan was Andy's oldest friend who had just returned to stay by her side while her father battled cancer, so people were distraught. Tons of angry people flooded social media with their comments. He came back for her, he left his life in San Diego for her, and gets rewarded with a gunshot, one person wrote? You keep killing off the good characters, disappointed but not surprised. Others criticized the new showrunner, Krista Vernoff, for implementing this twist. After leaving Station 19, Frezza made a couple of appearances in the Flight Attendant TV show. However, he recently revealed something about his personal life which may make fans forgive the producers for killing Ryan. Alberto posted on his Instagram account a picture of himself in which he was surprisingly bald in the hospital. Reading the Godfather book, while receiving chemotherapy treatment. He reveals that he was diagnosed with cancer in June 2020. Treated in Milan, the young man of Italian origin followed four sessions of chemotherapy. Albert Frezza announces that he is launching a fundraiser for the National Tumor Institute of Milan, where he was treated. We hope Alberto recovers well as the producers of Station 19 have said we may see Ryan appearing again in the show as flashbacks. That's all for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Let us know in the comments section what your views on Ryan Tanner leaving the show. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Celeb Space, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.